Hello and welcome to the John Crest Show. I'm Glenn Seal, your host. Uh, we've been away for a couple of weeks because the Cougars were on the road. They took a trip to Louisiana and uh, the Cougars did pretty well on this road, road trip before coming back home for a game. Uh, Coach Crest, the road has been good to you this year, especially in the last few weeks. It sure has. You know, we've won uh, our last seven, so we're on a roll, Glenn. And three of four of the games that you'll see today on this show will be road games. And you know, when you travel, you've got a different hardwood court to, to get the feel of. Uh, some old rims, some new rims. There's the shooter's background to consider. Then there's the, uh, the crowd, uh, the sixth man for the other team that you have to combat. But after hiring the shot doctor to go on this trip with us and playing very basic basketball, I think we're back to the fundamentals, the ABCs of basketball. We're focused, we play well in practice, and we perform very well in games. So I'm going to really enjoy the show this morning, Glenn. Well, the shot doctor was on the plane to Louisiana as the Cougars took a trip to Shreveport, Louisiana to take on a good centenary team. We'll take a look at highlights from the Gold Dome in Shreveport. The Cougars get out to a good start against uh, this uh, good centenary gent basketball team, Marion Busby, draining the three. Centenary was uh, playing a packed in zone, so we had some perimeter shots. As here we go from Ken Moore to Marion Busby. Down the middle, he misses. We keep the ball alive. A little volleyball there. And Dad Delaney is able to finish it off around the hoop. Now, good inside rebound. Delaney had 19 rebounds in this game, but he starts it off with that one. Here's Marion Busby from the right corner. Good screens by Ken Ward. Got little Marion free. Here's Anthony Johnson against the press, looking up court. He hits Buzz in the right corner. And we're scoring from all cylinders. That was uh, a couple of threes by Busby. He had five for the game. Anthony Johnson, Stacey Harris. Buzz is in the corner. He's going to miss, but Thaddeus Delaney is there to pick up the, uh, the garbage, the second shot. We need offensive rebounding if we do miss. The Cougars led by as many as nine in the first half, and, uh, but it was a tough centenary team. They fought back and made it close in the first There's half. There's Al J. Foreman on a nice uh, drive on the baseline. We're talking things over, but they're playing very well in the offensive end. There's Ken Ward on a miss, but we're going to keep the ball alive. And Marcus Woods, a guy who gets more loose balls than anybody in the country. Look at him, scrap! And he throws a bounce pass to Ken Ward, and we finish off the basket. Great, great play on hustle basketball alone. That's Marcus Woods' style. Look at that bounce pass to Thad Delaney. He's going to miss, but we're on the glass again. Woods tips it to Ward, another hoop on hustle alone. Just a great tip by Marcus Woods that time to Ken Ward. Cougars working around on offense. Here's the alley-oop. Alley <laughs> that gets it, but he hangs on the rim a little and going to hit with a technical foul. We'll take the basket, but I don't like those tees. They really seem to hurt us. Pat was hurt a little. Now we're talking about a press basketball. That's our signal when we cross our hands. Gets to the high post, Adelaney. Marcus Woods through his legs. Buzz on the middle shot. It's right in. Wow, we're playing good basketball. We're going to make them come out of that zone eventually. Here we are playing pretty good man-to-man -man defense. They're going to go back to our those. Jamar Como on a nice move. Backdoor basketball is very, very pretty. Well, it was 33-30 to 30 at the half. Cougars only had a three-point lead. The fans are cheering on their centenary gents, but in the second half, you kind of pull away from them. Busby on the steal. He was thinking about a slam dunk, I think, but he glides in for the easy two. Good steal, good basket. You always like to see him just lay it in, not try to go for There's that dunk. Kinda, when it. you put it on the floor, you have problems. Little guys can take it away. They're going to come up with a good steal. They're going to push it on the fast break. Good, good play, and it's over to their forward, and Thomas hits the uh, shot off the fast break. Rodney kind of turned it over, but he doesn't turn it over much these days. Here's Marion Busby against their zone. He's going to send a man through, and Pat King is going to flash, and watch this shot! Okay, the circus is in <laughs> town, I think, of North Charleston Coliseum, and that was part of the circus shot. Great, great play by Pat King. What a basket. Just an unbelievable shot, and when that one went up, I had no idea it was going to come down through the goal. Here we are, hitting against the zone, moving around. Marion from NBA land. Another three-point shot. We were seven for 18 from threes in this game. That was very important. That's high percentage basketball. Moving it around. Here's Pat King. He's going to deliver from the wing. He had two threes also. He's going to have another three a little later on from the left corner. Here's Anthony Johnson looking around. We're going to bounce it in. Pat King's going to bring it out. We're going to look. Here's Pat King. Anthony's going to find him. It's going to go down again. Glenn, right in there. Pat scored 25 points in this game and 23 in the next game. He's on fire. Good drive and inside play. We're going to contest the shot. Here's a great play. Mark Himes on the rebound. He looks ahead to Marcus Woods. Marcus somehow finds his roommate, Pat King, for the basket. What a pretty break, and what a way to finish this particular game, Glenn. It was a great start of a road trip. As we're in Louisiana, we're in bio country. We're shooting. We're playing great defense, and things are happening. 83-62. The Cougars won it by 21 points, and it was a big win for the Cougars, especially getting that big conference win. Well, the Cougars would continue on the road. They would travel to Hammond. Louisiana to take on Southeastern Louisiana. We'll take a look at highlights on that game after this timeout on the John Crest Show.
Welcome back to the John Crest Show. The Cougars continue on the road. They travel to Hammond, Louisiana to take on Southeastern Louisiana. Now, this is a team that hasn't had a winning record in 10 years, but uh, they are starting to win this year. We'll take a look at highlights from the uh, game played over in Southeastern Louisiana. Now, it's a big arena there in Southeastern Louisiana. In Hammond, seats over 8,000, and uh, the Cougars get a good start early. They take what uh, few fans that were there out of the game pretty early. The Cougars go on a 10-0 run to start off the game. Petke misses an easy one, but Thad Delaney, one of the fastest centers in the league, is there to finish it off with a good clean up basket on the miss. Here's Pat King looking around. We're going to isolate Thad. Nice lob pass from Ken Ward. His dad's very strong around the hoop. Besides his rebounds, he's scoring very well inside against Southeastern Louisiana. Here's Marion Busby. It's man-to-man -man offense. Uh, Anthony Johnson's going to pull up for the nice basket. Anthony played great off the bench with 11 points and 5 assists. Here's Winnier on the miss. Little Marion Busby gets the bound. He's going to look up. Who's up but Anthony Johnson? Guard to guard, good fast break basket as we're really running. We have our track shoes on in this particular game. Here's Dad Delaney looking for isolation. We're going to set a back pick, and Big Daddy's going to throw one down off the alley -oop pass. Great play to, to get the thing going. Emotion is important. Look at the 25 4 lead. Wow. Here we are, Marion Busby on the left wing into Stacy. Stacy's going to bring it out smartly to Marion Busby. Stacy's going to follow the shot. Look at the nice bounce pass to Rodney Connor. The lefty hits the open jumper, nothing but net, swish time. Just a great pass from Stacy Harris that time, and uh, he, he's had some troubles with the mask on his face, but uh, doing, doing better without it. Here's uh, John Picou in a nice drive. The veteran point guard for Southeastern makes a nice basket over Thad Delaney. Uh, this was a, 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 a Southeast Louisiana team that came back. You had them down by 21, but they come storming back, and it's Reggie Jackson from the nice outside. Three. Yeah, they are a very multi-talented team that can give anyone uh, trouble on a given night as they make a great run. Him trying to get a call or two as the, uh, oh, look at that, 46-38. You know, what happened to the Cougs there for a while? Okay, second half action. Marion Busby gets it taken away by Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson could have hit Charles for the dunk. And Southeastern got to win within four points, Glenn, as it was in, in some jeopardy at the times in that second half. And talking things over, trying to get some strategy involved. And here, give it to Marion Busby. That's great strategy. Okay, Anthony Johnson, Pat King's going to step out for the three. Hits one down the middle. Pat's shooting very softly from the outside, making most of his three-point attempts. King had a big game, over 20 points for the second straight game. And uh, you try to extend that lead late in the game. There's Marion Busby from the outside hitting the three. Good screen from Pat King. And Marion's feeling it, and he's getting involved in the ball game. Here we are, Marion Busby. To Anthony Johnson, we're going to go into Delaney. Good basket inside as he follows up. He's such a big, big Turk. He's like Chris Webber on that basket. Love that big guy. He had 15 points and 13 rebounds against Southeastern Louisiana. And then they apply the pressure. You're trying to uh, just work down the clock as the, the Cougars get it inside. And Pat King gets the bucket and the foul. And you uh, extend that lead even more against Southeastern Louisiana. Good way to attack the press. And here's Anthony Johnson stepping through a trap. It's good, good play. Two big guys, he steps through, he finds the open man, it's Pat King for the slam dunk. What a nice way to play against pressure. Hit the open man, a selfish play. And the Cougars go on to win it. 86-73 was the final score. You get another conference win, and that was a big one for you. But then you'll continue on the road, and you take on Mercer. It's going to be the revenge game as the Cougars travel to Macon, Georgia, for their third straight road game. We'll take a look at highlights from that game and a lot more coming up on the John Crest Show. Well, the Cougars continue on their three-game road trip. They travel to Macon, Georgia to take on the Mercer Bears. We'll take a look at highlights from Macon, Georgia. We go to the Macon Coliseum as the uh, Cougars trying to pick up a little revenge win against a Mercer team that defeated you earlier in the season. It was our only loss at the, uh, at the arena in two years. And there's Reggie Elliott starting things off and putting three on the board for the Golden Bears. There's Chance Solomon from the lightest. Marcus Wood's going to pick it up. He's going to make an NBA play, kind of throws his body in. The referee gives us the call, and Marcus goes to the foul line. Marcus is always on, on the run. Here's Pat King, kind of a brick. But we're going to pick it up. Marcus Wood's always around the ball. He's going to find Marion Busby. Good skip pass. Buzz steps in. Swish. Basket. What a great play by Marcus Woods. Love that competitor. And Marion Busby would go on to hit quite a few threes in this game, and uh, there will be a big one coming up in this one Here's as well. Here's another one. Here's uh, one more of his six <laughs> three-point shots. Six for ten from home run land. 
and little guy can really knock them down. Now this was a close game in the beginning and both of these teams uh, I don't think like each other very much. I, I know this one was an important one for both ball clubs. We're going to look around and swing it over to Anthony Johnson. The guys kidded him after this. They called this a bank shot. I don't know if Anthony was really trying to use the glass, but it went in from home run land. Here's Marion Busby looking around. We're going to hit Cookie Kirk Kirkshack. He's going to miss an easy one, but there's Rodney Connor pulling down the bound and kissing it off the glass. Good offensive rebounding. Rodney Connor had 20 points in this game, Glenn, and played great off the bench. Here's Buzz looking around. We're going to isolate Rolling Crookshank. Rodney Connor's going to bounce it in, and he kind of looks like Elijah Watt fading away <laughs> and hitting that left baseline shot. Rolling Crookshank has played great in these games, these last two games. We're going to rename him Hakeem. <laughs> LaDon Green kind of beating Marcus Woods. Hate to see penetration and people turn the corner against our defense. But Green is very, very good at it. It was definitely back and forth. You were down by five in the first half, but you do try to come back, and it's Ken Ward putting the yes. shot up, but Marcus who's Woods there? Marcus playing like a big man. Shoots the following shot. Good hustle basketball. And we're really on that glass, trying to get everything we can out of this game. We were going to lob this to Pat King. New play we just put in. And Pat glides in kind of like Scottie Pippen to make the great play. Marcus Woods hit him on the money. Great pass also. Chan Solomon on a miss. Pat King, nice bound. Marion's going to look it up. NBA basketball. Connor to Woods. Before that 24 second clock even gets rolling in the NBA, we can play that ball at some times. Good style basketball. Marcus Woods played great this game, 12 points. This is near the end of the first half, and uh, the Controversial. Game, game is tied up here. They're going to try to get a shot go in before the buzzer, and did it go? It didn't go. No way did that basket count. No way. Bill Hodges. Look at these referees trying to put us to the locker rooms. I'm going to try to get the last word in, Glenn. It's always nice to get the last word. <laughs> you always do seem to get the last word in. 33-33. It's tied up at the half, and it was an exciting second half. Chan Solomon. Wow, he's on a torrid tear in the second half. He gets 19 points in 20 minutes. He's unbelievable. What a great addition to our great conference. Here's Marion Busby on fast break basketball. Hits the left corner. Marcus Woods playing well. His, uh, his buddy James Frost was at this game. A great play from Georgia Tech. Watching his, his, his high school teammate a play from south side. Here's Marcus Woods on the dribble. We're trying to isolate inside. We can't get it in. Eventually goes to Thad. That's going to face up. One of the few jumpers he hits, about 18 feet over Jeff Bellman. Good shot for Thad Delaney. And Delaney uh, in foul trouble a little bit early in this ball game, so wasn't in there a whole lot. But when he was in there, man, he played well. He was good. Here's Chad Solomon. This is kind of like Isaiah Thomas. How he pulls up the great guard from the Detroit Pistons years back. He can really score. Marcus Woods was right in his face, had a hand up, was playing glove basketball. We're talking things over. You know, we never really had the lead. We really was fighting back, trying to hang in. Buzz on a miss. He's not going to let that bother him. He's going to step into the next shot and hit a great, great three point shot from right in front of our bench. He was almost sitting in our laps when he made that shot. Here we go. We're looking to drive. Anthony Johnson, Rodney Connor, the lefty, he's uncanny. He draws the foul and makes the basket. Connor was big down the stretch with buckets. We really needed the thin forward to come through for us. They're coming on the run. Chan Solomon, boy, he's great at pulling up in the lane. He couldn't stop this, this great, great guard. He didn't have a point in the first half, but he did have 19 in the second half. He was just on fire. He's Buzz. I'm going to skip it over to Rodney Connor. Rodney's going to go in the lane, miss a chippy, but he's going to follow up and keep it alive. Well, he was too quick for those big guys. They were 6'9", 6'8", 6'7". They had big trees in that front line, and we had more quickness. Solomon on an air ball. Great pitch out, kind of a Wesley Unsell type pitch out to Pat King as we're on the run. Good, good basket for the Coons. What a great game this was. Loved every minute of this particular action. Busby's going to look ahead. He's going to hit Rodney Connor. It's a great move. He gets fouled. Called Mr. Referee. He does. And Rodney kind of goes to the foul line. We needed those fast break baskets as we're hanging in there. Marion Busby looking for some set offense. Going to go on the left wing to Pat King. Busby's going to fade. He's going to drain another three. He almost gets hit. Hits all over the rim and drops. Big, big basket for the Cougars. Definitely a big, big basket at that point in the game. It ties it up uh, over two minutes left to go in the ball game, and it was close down the stretch. You go to the free throw line. Pat King able to hit a couple of free throws. Pat King made over 20 straight foul shots in these last couple of games. He's a guy we want on the strike when it counts. We're up two points finally, but it's not going to stay for long. They're going to isolate Chance. He's going to go by Anthony Johnson. He's going to pull up. Tie score again, Glenn. This thing was, was looking like it was going to go overtime as the teams were matching and repeating baskets. 
We're trying to get some subs in the game. See what happens down the stretch here. It's tied up. Solomon at the line again. Makes the free throws. He's going to put them up two points. We're going to try to come back and tie this thing. Buzz is going to try to put us ahead. But he missed. Look at that Delaney's rebound. He stretches out. We're going to now run some clock. Anthony Johnson goes by Chance Solomon on a great pull up in the lane. Tied this thing, Anthony, which he does. They're going to throw the ball away on a turnover, and now we're going to get the ball with 37 seconds to go. We want it to either win this game at the buzzer or maybe go into an overtime. Busby takes it to the right corner. 6-4 Elliott on him. He's going to fade. He's going to shoot over. It's going to go in. We're up three points, and it's time to not celebrate yet. They still have. They're going to go to Chance Solomon. They still got a chance at this thing. He's going to dribble by Johnson, but he throws it too hard off the glass. And we go in with a big victory in Macon, Georgia. A great win for the Cougs, Glenn. Oh, that was definitely a big win. 73-70, the final scores. The Cougars get the big one in Macon, Georgia. We'll take another time out, and then we'll come back and have highlights from the home game that the Cougars finally came home last night. More coming on the John Crest Show. Welcome back to the John Crest Show. The Cougars finally come home. They played three games on the road, and they come back to the John Crest Arena to take on a tough Central Florida team last night. You know, Glenn, we've been on the road 12 out of 18 games, so it was nice to get those white uniforms back on. 3,100 people at the game. And can I take you to some great highlights of Central Florida, the defending TAC title team that had the automatic bid in the NCAA tournament this last year. This should be a lot of fun. Let's go over to the John Crest Arena as the Cougars finally come back home. And as you said, 3,100 at the game last night. It made for an exciting atmosphere. This Howard Porter on a good basket from Swaby. Good pass. They were winning for most of the first 12 minutes. In fact, they had a two-point lead. They're sloughing back on Thad. Buzz, split-second timing, goes right into his three-point shot. Good play on ball reversal. We're trying to isolate either Thad Delaney in the low post or Busby for the three. Good, good steal by Thad Delaney. We're going to look up. It's Pat King kind of gliding in. Boy, that was kind of ballet music for that particular move. What a great play on the run. There's Rich Dablonski and Lynn Marshall cheering us on. Here's Marion Busby looking for Stacey Harris. Can't find him. Into Rod. Rod back out to Marion Busby. Another three. The fans are into it, and Busby's into it. Throw out those three-point T-shirts. Get those people involved. Great crowd. They're going to make a great play here. Davis inside to Big West on the dunk against our press. Central Florida's very well coached by Kirk Sparrow. Used to be an assistant at Florida, and now is the head coach for the Knights of Central Florida. Here's Busby. Tell me what to do. We're down two points. He says, Coach, let's change the strategy. Give me the ball. Let me throw it to AJ in the corner. Skip pass to Pat King. Swish. Boy, Pat is shooting the ball like a little man. He's on fire these days. Back door. Marion finally misses one. Going to keep it alive. Good tip. Buzz is going to set things up. Goes to Pat King. Reversal. AJ behind his back on the big time move to the glass. Great, great shot by AJ. He's playing so well. He's like a starter off the bench. He and Rodney Conant rolling Crookshank. Stacy Harris playing like pros. Here's Buzz on the pull-up to end the half. Great basket. Puts us up 12 at halftime. We were on a roll. We had a 23-9 to run in those last eight minutes to go ahead and to keep that lead in the second half. We're going to advance the ball to Rodney Conant. He's going to look around. Marcus Woods finds Marion. Marion right into his shot. One of his five three-point shots again for this game. He's had a great percentage from home run land. Patrick Butts on a miss. We're going to rebound. Marion's on the bound. Looking ahead. Look at his touch pass. Beautiful basket. Pat lays it in. Marcus Woods to Pat King. That's a connection that's worked beautifully for these last four years. I'm going to miss those guys. Get out that crying towel soon. His penetration by Central Florida. Howard Porter on a great slam on the baseline. Central Florida really never gave up. They cut it from 17 to 10 to 8. We're fighting the pressure. Anthony heads at Rodney Connor. Rodney's like a little guard looking for Thad Delaney. Thad kisses it in. Good basket. You have to look to exploit pressure. Go for three on twos, two on ones, one on zeros, and score as much as you can against the press. Howard Porter keeping Central Florida right in the game with a good baseline jump shot. We're going to fight pressure again. Kirk Sparrow really in the game all the way. His sway beyond the miss. A rebound. Look at Marcus Woods chased down that loose ball. Again, a head basketball to Marion Busby. Patrick Butts tries to step in for the charge, but Marion just pulls up way over Patrick Butts for the 12-point lead. Good basket. Pat King made 9 out of 11. Thank goodness, Glenn, because we were 27 for 47 from the strike. We were a horror show from that foul line. 
looking against the press. We're going to throw long to Pat King. He's going to miss this one, but he's going to follow it up. And he's going to end things with kind of a little mini slam dunk as this game is now in the sack. Look at the little kids. Okay, coming over to say hello and walk the coach to the locker room. Big, big win for us. Seven in a row, Glenn. We're seven and one in conference play. We're fighting Samford. We're fighting other teams. It's a six horse race as far as I see it. And it's a great league. And it's a great time for basketball here in Charleston these days. Things are definitely getting, getting excited in the Transamerica Athletic Conference this year. The Cougars, winners of seven in a row, 14 and five on the season. We're going to take a timeout and come back with the play of the week here on the John Crest Show. Welcome back to the John Crest Show. We've got a special treat for you this week. We, ha we haven't had this before, but we've got a play of the week, and it's an exciting one. So we'll take a look at the play of the week. Dean Stevens, the famous Dean Stevens, put this together. Here's Mark Himes on a rebound. He's going to look ahead, and he's going to pass to Marcus Woods. Marcus, out of his bag of tricks, puts it behind the back, bounce pass on the money to Pat King, who's going to put it away. This is kind of tricky basketball. It excites our players, excites the crowd, and it seems to work. And Marcus Woods, Busby, those guys can really make those things happen. What a great, great play. That was just outstanding. And Marcus Woods, I don't know how he does it, but he comes up with some great passes to uh, Pat King. They, they've done a great job all year long. Well, the Cougars uh, were on the road for a little while. You're going to be going back on the road this week, but you're going to be back home tomorrow night. So we'll uh, take a look at what's coming up this week for the College of Charleston. Tomorrow night, Florida International comes to town for a 7 o'clock start at the John Crest Arena. This is the Florida International team coached by Bob Welick, and I know uh, he has decided he's going to resign at the end of this season. So uh, right. it's, it's been an interesting uh, season for Florida International. Right. Also coming up this week, the Cougars will go back on the road. They will travel to Georgia State. Uh, you get to go to Atlanta on Thursday night. Georgia State uh, won a good game at Mercer last night, so that's a big game for Thursday night, Glenn. And then uh, you're going to be going back on the road. You're going to continue on the road, and uh, you go to Birmingham on Saturday night to take on a Samford team that uh, has been playing extremely well this season. Yes, you know, I love this uh, team of ours at this particular time, uh, Glenn, our bench. You know, and look at uh, Stacey Harris and Anthony Johnson and Mark Himes and Rodney Kahn and Roland Cruikshank. They're playing like starters. So the depth of the team is really showing. We're playing basic basketball with 10th in the nation in defense, and I think we're playing as hard as we can play. It was vintage basketball last night against Central Florida. Hope the fans come out Monday against Florida International. We need another win at home before we pack those bags to go to Atlanta for Thursday night's game. It's a big week for the Cougars. We'll be back next week with more on the John Crest Show.